Hello guys, how are you doing? So I hope you're ready for another episode of Fate Zero. So today it's going to be episode 19. So I've been seeing a lot of comments in my videos and you guys keep saying that this is probably the best episode of Fate Zero and I mean I have high expectations for it now and I really wonder what's going to make it so good. We saw last episode that uh, like a bit of Kiritsugu's past and how he started hating uh, the mages and like all of the people involved in, in, in that incident and he's apparently now going to work with that girl. I actually don't remember her name. She, she, she had like gray hair and I'm guessing this episode is going to be like a bit more about Kiritsugu, like how he got to the state that he is now, like all the training, maybe. Uh, like, I actually don't know, but that's my biggest bet, I guess. And yeah, I really wonder what's going to happen. Like, it, we are almost at the end, like there's a few episodes left, like six, and I really wonder where the story is going and so far I've been loving this anime a lot like everything everything on it like from animation music characters story development like everything it's it's a really good anime so far and I, it's probably gonna be one one of my favorites like depending on, on how it ends maybe but so far it's already one of my favorites and yeah I really want to know what's going to happen in this episode, so let's just get started. All right. Is that Kiritsugu? And I was telling... I was wondering if uh, the ones at the church, one of them was Kiri, but yeah, I'm, ju I'm just dumb. It couldn't be Kiri because he's younger. Wait, what? Yep. Oh, she she's the one who gave him those bullets. Origin. Why is he able to do that though? We saw this happening against Canis, and I didn't uh, like realize it was her, like the girl who gave him those bullets. I don't understand. He has like a special power against mages. He means blood or something. I don't know. Oh, she's Natalia. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if that was the first time he used the, one of those bullets, but I doubt it. He apparently has a special power. Oh, what one is it?
Hmm. It's already. So he started this like really young. Or at least he wanted. <laughs> Still not prepared. Yeah, I also wonder if if Natalia is still around. But I doubt it. Something must have happened. I hope we know. I hope they show us how we met Maya as well. Damn. Yeah, the war zones like they they mentioned. Oh no. But it, yeah, he wanted justice, like Saber said before. Is that his wish? To kill like every person with like tainted hearts or... I don't know. So he, he was like this before, like Saber mentioned, he once fought for justice, so what made him change his mind? I'm expecting it's something about Natalia. Oh, confidential? Be familiars. Yep. I really wonder what's going to be like the biggest revelation. Is he going to fail? Or she, I mean. Oh. 
I also wonder if he's going to meet Kira eventually. Because he knows him. I wonder if he was someone's kid. Maybe he killed his parents or something. Uh, uh, he, he couldn't have killed. His father was the other one, so... I don't know. Actually, I have no idea how he met Kira. If, if he even met, I mean, he knows him. And Kira has a feeling like he knows him too, but he doesn't remember. So that gives me the impression that they met when he, he was really young, like a kid. Oh, that sniper though. Oh shit. Wait, just like that? All right then. That was easy. Sky friends. <laughs> Oh, that's the bees? Oh. I'm lost. Wait, she got infected? Oh, it's the bees. Are the bees the ones infecting, infecting people? Oh no. Yeah, those inside. Oh no. And the bees had the... The catalyst for this. If she stays there, she's gonna die. Is this where she dies? She gonna blow up? Hmm. Man, I have, a I have a bad feeling about this. I have a really bad feeling about this. Where is the plane even going to crash? Bad. Oh, okay. She's, she's piloting it? Mm hmm. Three hundreds. 
Holy fuck. They need to blow up that, that plane. Yeah. Damn. I mean, they have to blow the plane after she gets out, of course. Like when it lands or something. Huh. Yep. It's, not, it's probably not really that easy to pilot those things. Even though most things are like automatic, but still. You have to blow that shit. I really wonder what's going to happen. It's going too smoothly. Okay, it might not be related, but... And it's not related. I don't even know where they are at the moment. They're in an Air France plane, but I don't know the location. Yeah, that's true, it's just... I wonder if she's actually going to suicide. Uh, I doubt it, but... Because she has to do so something about the people on the plane. And if she lands the plane, there's the danger that more people get infected. And if that spreads, holy shit, it's the entire town. <laughs> that is the closest. He spent a lot of years with her, so... This feels like a goodbye speech, though. Oh! Oh no! Is he actually going to take it down? I just realized he's... he's... Building that up. He's just building the rocket launcher, right? He's gonna take out the plane. I, I, I don't think she knows about it. Yeah, he's doing it. Oh my god. I was paying too much attention to the conversation. And then I see that.
Hmm. Yeah, I can't believe he's going to do this. Yep. I wonder if they both accept this fate. I don't think she knows. God damn it. So she act I'm guessing she actually died. That must yeah. There she goes. Yeah, she she had a feeling, she, like, it's hard to explain, but they know each other. All right. That's exactly what I was saying, and he did this because he, fe he feels like he failed before. Oh no, that, 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 that's how he snapped. What's going on? Man, this episode where justice is found. I mean, like uh, all of this time, he's been searching for justice for like for that power. I mean, this was the first time we saw that power. I think the dead apostles or something, like if infesting. The infestation or something. And... He just killed Natalia because he felt like he failed with Shirley. Like he didn't kill Shirley at that time. And that just made the, the curse like spread. And now he... He did that. I mean, it was exactly what I was talking about. If she landed the plane, everyone there w would be in danger if the people inside got out and started infesting everyone in the city. So they had to do something to the plane while it was on the air. And he came up with that plan. I didn't see that coming. I. I I had no idea he was going to be the one doing, like he was going to be the one responsible for Natalia's death. I was almost sure she was going to die, but I didn't know how. Oh. Return of the Assassin. Okay. Return of the, uh, I don't know if that's about a servant or just an assassin overall, like Kire, for example. Um, I wonder if we are going to learn more about Kire in the next episodes. Uh, apparently, we didn't see. We only saw the story between Kiritsugu and Natalia, and uh, 
they showed us Natalia before, but I I didn't connect the dots. Like I I didn't remember it was the girl who gave him the bullets. But she said she, she, uh, like he's like special. He has uh, like a a power that's it seems to be effective against mages, and it uses a part of his body. To, like in the bullets to do that but I, I still don't know exactly how that works but this was a really good episode I mean we basically see why Kiritsugu is doing what he is now he's like doing everything he can for the greater good he doesn't care about the sacrifices because, I mean, he had to, to sacrifice so much already. He had to, to see Shirley die. He had to kill his own father to try to stop that from happening again. But it didn't. And it happened with Natalia too, in the plane. That plane... Everyone got infested by, by that thing. And he felt like he couldn't do the mistake of letting like anyone live in there to prevent people from infesting the others so that's basically it he, he had to do a lot of sacrifices to to accomplish his goal which is like to get rid of all of those people who work with magic and that's why he actually hates magic it's it's exactly because of that and I mean, after seeing that, I it's not like I don't approve magic, it's more about the way you use it. Like, there are people that are doing a lot of experiments and... That didn't look as an experiment to me too, that was probably his plan, since he had those bees inside of him. He wanted to do a lot more, more killing, uh, even after he died. So... Yeah. This was this was great to understand a bit more of Kiritsu. I mean, I was blaming him a lot for what he did to Lancer, and I mean, I still don't accept that. It's it's really unfair what happened to Lancer, but it's also impossible to not understand how Kiritsugu might feel now. He he doesn't show any emotions at all because he has his eyes on his goal and he, he doesn't want to to let his emotions interfere with that like he, he he wants to i still don't know what his wish is but i'm pretty sure and i want to say it's about um getting that world like free of magic like remove magic from that world basically so people can't do those experiments anymore. That's at least what I'm thinking, but I might be wrong. It's just it's just my guess, because it, as you see, the like all of those experiments were what triggered all of this. So yeah, I still feel bad that I we we didn't see anything about his relationship between, like the relationship between Kiritsugu and Kirei, but. I hope I really hope that comes later because I'm I'm really interested to see why they fear Kirei so much. Like, who is that guy? Like, we we know almost nothing of Kirei. We just know that he was uh, Tokiyomi like disciple, and he was his student, and he learned a, a lot with him. And. That's about it. We see that he's now awakening his feelings, but we don't know his past, like, in detail. So I really hope they they show us a bit of that because I'm it's it's the thing that I'm more curious about right now, and I can't wait for it. We have six episodes left, and I wonder, like if someone is even going to win this war and if someone does who has like the better chance i want to say 
I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, I don't know if Karia has a chance with Berserker, to be honest. Rider looks really powerful, but I don't know. Against Archer, and since he already knows his power, I don't know if he could fight Archer. Not sure. And like we we haven't seen a lot of Archer too. We just saw him using some of his powers, but we didn't really see him like at full power. He was just like enjoying, not really serious about it. And then there's Saber. I mean, she's really strong, and I I wonder if she's going to be able to do something about the other servants. I hope she does. And then there's also Irisville, which apparently she's, I'm guessing she's the Holy Grail, and she's the one like protecting it. She's like the human form of the Grail, I'm guessing. And I want to see what's going to happen after this whole situation ends. But yeah. This was my reaction to this episode and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. So, see ya!